Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Doris. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, make yourself comfortable and feel relaxed. I am back again with a fiction story between Lico Rose and Emmanuel. Day before yesterday, we stopped at chapter 21. I am here with chapter 22, 23, 24 and 25. In that chapter, Emmanuel has been pleading so that Lico Rose will forgive him, yet Lico Rose said no. So she got an information that Emmanuel is planning to wed with another woman. So she was so furious, she has to call uh, Emmanuel's mother on the phone, see what I'm hearing all. The mother was like, call Emmanuel on the phone and know what he will tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Then she has to rush to Ifoma's place to tell her, see what is happening, see what I heard though. Unfortunately, she met Emmanuel at Ifoma's place. They were both sitting in a romantic way together with each other. She was like, what's happening here? So they were like, oh, sorry, sweetie. We were about coming to your place to invite you for our upcoming wedding. She was like, what? So guys, that was the place we stopped. I believe you all remembered that I just gave you guys the recap of where we stopped before we move into the next chapter. Chapter 22, remember the title is My Pills for Depression. That is a joke, please. That I'm not worthy of it does not mean I am worthless in the eyes of others. Shifting his attention back to Ifoma. My love, I'm going. I will see you later. Alright dear, take care of yourself for me, Ifoma said happily. Just like that, why not come here and give me some sugar? Emma said spreading his arms for a, for a hug. She hugged him as she says, I am missing you red my king. I miss you ma my king, he replied. So dear, where is my sugar? Ma not now, she said shyly, but he insisted on kissing her in front of Rose, which former gave him. They kissed passionately and Emma bid her goodbye. Ella, take care of my bride for me. Don't allow her to stress herself, he said as he left. I must love her, Ella teased Ifoma. Rose was very furious that she slapped Ifoma. How dare you, Ifi? How could you stoop so low? Rose said as she was about slapping her again. Don't you dare, Rose. What is wrong with you? Don't ever try that with me. Oh, because you don't want Emma. Does it mean that I can't love him as well? You know, Rose, I tried my best to patch things up with you guys. But can you remember what you told me? You said that Emma was like your vomit and that one vomited can never be eaten again. That was your word. Yes, so I was there when she made that statement. If you told us that you needed some time to heal or that you still love him, it could have been a different thing. But no, you said you never want to have anything doing with him again. So what's all this drama, please? My dear, be happy for our friend here. Ella said, supporting Ifoma. On hearing this, Rose angrily left the house. Some weeks has passed already and it's already the wedding day. Family and friends gather to witness the vow between Ifoma and Emma. Rose was also included. Where is the ring bearer? The pastor asked. Here I am, Alex replied, coming forward. So, Miss Ifoma, do you accept Mr. Emmanuel Umo as your lawfully wedded husband? Yes, I do, replied Ifoma. The pastor also asked Emma, and he also said yes. Chapter 23. So then, as an ordained man of God, I pronounce you guys a man and a wife. Mr. Emmanuel Umo, you may kiss. Rose. Ella shouted as she rushed where Rose fell. She was unconscious. So many guests gathered. Some were fanning her. Ima and Ifoma were also among the people, but they were not fanning or doing anything to help. They were just there laughing their heads out. It serves her right, Emma said in the middle of the laughter. Guys, please help and do something, Ella said, shaking Rose to wake up. Rose, please, don't do this to yourself. There are so many shooters out there. Ella continued shaking her. 
Rose began to regain herself. She opened her eyes slowly, but when she was finally awake, there was no other person apart from Ella, and they were not in the wedding ground but in Rose's house. She stood up immediately. Jumping back, Ella asked her what's going on with her. Was it a dream? Girl, what is wrong with you? I came here to check up on you because you were sad when you left the house. Ifoma is also here with me, but on seeing that you were having fever, she rushed to buy some drugs for you. What happened? So Ima and Ifoma did not get married, Rose asked, shaking. What are you saying? Ifoma Mari, Ima, are you okay at all? Ella asked in a mix of laughter and confusion. Sorry, I had a nightmare. Rose told Ella everything that happened in her dream. My dear, this is not nightmare but afternoon mare. Ella joked. This your dream gets girl let go. So even if Emma wanted to marry another girl, it will now be your bestie. Check him out now. As they were discussing, Ifama joined them with some drugs for Rose. And when she was told about the dream, she laughed so hard. But she also advised Rose to patch things up with Ima before it becomes too late. I will call him instantly. I don't want to lose him. But the problem is, will he be willing for, to forgive me? Yes, of course. That guy loves you so much. He will forgive you. Just go to him. Explain to him why you find it hard to forgive him. Chapter 24. Reconciliation. After Ifoma and Della left Rose's apartment, she decided to summon courage and give her a call. It's easier said than done, she said to herself as it was ringing. Rose put herself together. Emma does not have a fang. The worst he could do is to ignore my call or shun me. She was in a big thought that she didn't know when he picked up. Hello, Rose, are you there? Hearing her name brought her back to reality. Hi, Emmanuel, how are you doing? She said in a shaky voice. I'm good. This one you decided to call. Hope I'm safe. You are for now, but I don't know what will happen in the next few minutes. She joked. What do you want, Rose? Emma asked, but his emotion hidden. Rose did not know whether he's angry or disgusted. I want you, Emma. I mean, I want us to talk. I hope it's not too late. Rose concluded with tension. Well, it is, my dear. Um, Rose cut in before Emma could finish. Emma, please, don't do this to me. Yes, I know that I have hurt you and your family, but please don't push me away. Tears swelling in her eyes. Rose, I never said anything like that. I'm in town right now. I'm there for business and it will last three days. So when I come back, I will call and see you. Emma said, calming her down. I can't wait that long. Which side of the town are you? She asked impatiently. I'm at my guest house in Lakey. Emma replied. Okay, send me the directions. I will be there in a few hours from now. But Rose, it's late already. Wait till I'm back. Don't tell me it's late, she shouted. Don't tell me it's late. This time in a calmer tone. I really want to see you. Okay, no problem. But please be careful, he said concernedly. I will, Rose replied. She ended the call, made a touch up on her makeover, dressed in a beautiful black hot micro mini gown, adorned it with silver accessories. She took her handbag, her car keys, rushed down to her garage, entered her car and zoomed off. Emma at the other side was worriedly sick. Rose is very stubborn. I wonder what she might be thinking. Chapter 25 it's 8 p.m. already and Rose has not yet arrived. Emma was panicking because she was not picking her calls either. He was in a well air-conditioned room but sweats were all over his body that he had to take a shower to freshen up and calm his nerves down. He told her not to come and now this. He said this to himself. Now it's two hours and no sign of Rose. He couldn't take it and again he went to his desk to pick his keys. He was about to leave when he heard a gentle knock at the door. When Emma opened it, he was overjoyed when he saw the love of his life, standing in front of him, looking so hot. He was so mesmerized by her beauty that he forgot to usher her in. Snapping her fingers, may I come in please? Yes, yeah, sure you can, he said, leading the way. I was about going out to look for you since you were not picking up again. I'm so sorry, it was on vibration. It's okay, I'm glad you are safe. So what's up? Why is it necessary for you to see me today all of a sudden? 
Emmanuel, I'm so sorry on how I treated you. I used my past relationship to judge you. I'm sorry, dear. He still couldn't believe his ears. Is Rose really apologizing to him? No, it's okay. I was never really angry with you. Rather, I was angry with myself because if I explain things to you, it will not lead to this. You did nothing wrong. I was the one who didn't give you the chance to. Rose said with her eyes tearing up. Please don't cry. I don't want to see you in tears in those beautiful eyes of yours. I love you, Rose. I really do. I love you too, Emmanuel. Emotions closed on them and they started kissing. It was very slow at the beginning and they started kissing aggressively. They were hungry for each other. Emma was the first to break the kiss. He stepped back and stared at her. Am I not dreaming? Am I? He asked. You are not there and even if it was a dream, I don't want to wake up, Aurora said. On hearing this, Emma rushed to her and embraced her tightly and they continued from where they stopped. And this time, they were not a Russian anymore. I love this ending part of chapter 25. You know, some of the dreams we do have at times, uh, some people do say that it's nothing, that, that it's just a mere dream. But for me, I think dreams is just an indirect way of telling us things that can actually happen in future for me i don't know for you everybody has his or her own belief yes and i'm very happy how liquor rose acted quickly yes because of that dream she had she has to act quickly but of a truth that day before yesterday we were reading it i was thinking that it's true <laughs> i didn't even know that it's dream but i'm happy they have reconciled now i will be back with some of the chapters today or tomorrow yes i will be back with eight i believe you guys are learning something from this story because i am learning too and please if you've not subscribed to this channel don't make this favor and subscribe remember to recommend this channel to people out there like comment if you find this video interesting do take care of yourselves till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.